Hello, I am Dr. Sangeeta Rao, Consultant Obstetrician Gynecologist. I am a laparoscopic surgeon and a cosmetic gynecologist in Sagar Hospitals, Jainagar. Today I would just brief you about IUI. This is a fertility treatment. This is called intrauterine insemination. So intrauterine insemination is considered when there are three natural failed ovulation induction cycles. IUI is a very simple process. It is an OPD process. You don't have to give anesthesia to do this procedure. So when do we do IUI? IUI is considered when there is a male factor, like when there is a problem with the semen, where there is motility issues, when there are less count issues with the semen. So we can consider IUI process. How is it done? So before the doctor advises you to do an IUI, we have to check the tubes. Those are the fallopian tubes. We have to make sure that the fallopian tubes are all right. Both the tubes are patent before we do an IUI procedure. So to do, to check for the fallopian tubes, we have to do a procedure called HSG, hysterosalpingogram, where we inject a dye through the cervix and we make sure the tubes are patent and then we advise IUI. So the procedure goes this way. Initially, from the day two of her cycle, we start off with ovulation induction protocol where we induce the ovaries to produce more eggs through tablets or injections. Then we follow this up through follicular scans where we do follicular scans from the day 8 or day 10 of the cycle. So once we reach the egg size of about 20 to 22 mm, we give a trigger injection so that the follicles are ruptured and within 24 to 48 hours we plan for IUI. Now both the partners have to be present during the IUI procedure where the husband is asked to collect the semen sample in the hospital and we process, we concentrate only active motile sperms and this is injected directly into the uterus through a thin flexible tube. The procedure will itself take about 10 to 15 minutes and the patient can go home after that. Thank you.